What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to talk about the PlayStation 5 error code E2-8223B400. So this is a unable to con connect to the server error code that's been coming up for on PlayStation 5. Having a couple of users, nothing crazy, but you know, I wanted to make a video to show you how and what you can do to basically fix this error. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover over to settings and you're going to go into network. Uh, in network, the first thing is you're going to make sure, obviously, all of the PlayStation Network statuses is up. It's good to go. Nothing is kind of down, which could possibly be causing this error. If everything is Gucci on that side, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings and you're going to do setup internet connections. Now, before we kind of get into this, I want you to kind of step away and go to your router. Wherever your router is, restart it, like basically plug it off from the back leave it off for five minutes and then plug it back in and let it refresh once it does and then obviously all those lights come on and it says online go to your playstation 5 over here obviously just refresh this it's going to automatically connect if it was already connected and then see if it works for you if it does great you're good to go you just need a simple restart if not once you're in here see if you can possibly do a wired connection if you have not already if you ask, that will fix a lot of issues. A lot of times, usually with wireless, a lot of issues occur because of settings on how the router is. And it's not one paintbrush fits all. It's just very tough because every router is different. It's hard for me to like tell you like you should do port forwarding. You should turn off UNPNP, uh, UPNP, I think. It's like all those weird things. It's hard to say because every, again, router is different. Every system is different. So it's a bit hard. Now, once you kind of have that in mind, what you're going to do is in here, you're going to... Uh, if you can't do wired, like I said, click into the options button and you're going to see Wi-Fi frequency bands. Um, you can either change it to, from automatic to 5 gigahertz or 2.4. Test both of them out. Try not to do automatic. It's possible that's what's causing the issues. Try with both of them. See if that fixes it. If not, go into the router itself. So basically, I mean the connection itself. So basically click into it, plus advanced settings. And in here, we're going to change the DNS. What we're going to do is first, we're going to change this to manual from automatic. And in here, there's a couple of options. There's, uh, you can either do the one I have right now on the screen for primary 8.8.8.8, .8 and then secondary 8.8.4.4. This is Google's DNS service. You can actually use this one. There's also 1.1.1.1, 1 .1 .1 .1, 1 1.0.0.1 for uh, Cloudflare, I believe. You can try that. Depending on what country you're in, you might want to do something else. Um, once you kind of try those and test those different BNSs out, this will help fix your issues. The ones I have on the screen will almost always fix the issue. So you can kind of test that out and then, yeah, that's basically it. Your error should go away and you should be able to then connect to the server and play some games online and have some fun, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or other errors that you're happening, let me know in the comment section below. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, more gaming out. Peace.